Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to show you how to install VirtualBots onto Windows as well as how to install Windows 11 on VirtualBots. So first of all we are going to need the ISO of Windows 11 so just go to Google and type in download Windows 11. Sorry if uh, my keyboard is a bit loud and at the top you'll see download Windows 11 from Microsoft. Click on that and it's the ISO that we want. So the disk Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click the drop down menu and click Windows 11 multi edition ISO. That's what it currently is. Click download. It'll come down now, ask for your language. I'm in the UK, so it's uh, English International. If you're in the US, hit United States. If you're in another country, hit your country. Click confirm. That will now drop down and it will give you here, Windows 11 International 64-bit download. Click download and here it is, it's starting to download now. And when it's downloaded, for some reason, it's a bit slow for me. So that has about a minute uh, left to download. The other thing we also want to do is go over to Google and we will want to get VirtualBots. So, we want to basically click download VirtualBots as you can see here. So we go to VirtualBots, we want uh, the Windows host at the top there, click on that and now that is going to download as well. So that will take about the same amount of time and I'll come back once they're both downloaded. They're both now downloaded, so let's just open it up and we will see we have VirtualBots as well as Windows 11 um, English International by there. So next, let's just uh, boot up VirtualBots and get that installed. So double click on that. For me, it asked me to put in my password for the admin account. But for you, it shouldn't do that. It should just, uh, you know, give you a pop up to um, for administration purposes. I've got mine set on a separate account for security reasons. But here we go. Uh, welcome to VirtualBot 6.1.34. So we're just going to quickly set up. So we're going to hit next year. Um, if you want to keep it the same place, uh, you can do that now. But I am going to uh, move mine to the D drive because I got a two terabyte M.2. So to do that, you just hit the browse and then you just go through into your D drive. So we've got um, all my bits and bobs here. I like to put it in the installs folders. Um, we've got virtual machines here from where I did it before, uh, from I think it was VMware. So I'm gonna create a new folder in here called um, virtual box. And then inside this, I'm going to create another one called install. And then there's also going to be one in there for uh, the VMs itself, but I'll do that in a minute. So we want to chuck in install. This is just where I personally want to do it. You pull it where you want to do it. Uh, we'll keep everything up there as default. Click next. I'm going to keep all this stuff ticked. You do what you want to do uh, on all of this. And then it's just a like network interface, you know, do you want to proceed? Yes, you do. Click install, and there we go. We just said it all install now, and uh, we'll come back once this bit is done. It shouldn't take too long whatsoever. And there we go. I didn't hit stop. That was about 15 seconds for me. It uh, could change. And now you can hit start if you want to, or you can untick it and then hit finish. I'm going to leave it on start because we're going to proceed with this. Let's just minimize everything in the background because we don't need it all. And here we are. We have now successfully installed VirtualBot and we have a shortcut on our desktop at the top left there. But this uh, focus now on to um, VirtualBot itself. So we're going to add in Windows 11. So once you open up VirtualBot, you hit new. And this is uh, where we uh, basically install everything. So machine folder is telling you where you want to do it. I'm going to personally pull it in the D drive again. So we're going to go to other and we will go into the D drive. I'll quickly do that now. 
So there we go, I've just created a new one called VM ISO. So we're going to put them in here. So we're going to select that folder. So that's where it's going to go. And we're going to call it Windows 11. You will notice at the bottom there that it just changed. So if I uh, delete all that, we've got type here. You can do Microsoft, Linux, Solaris, BSD, IBM, Mac, or other. And then at the bottom, then you've got then different versions. So if it's Windows 10, you could do Windows 10. But I'm obviously going to do Windows 11. And as I already typed in Windows 11, it automatically put it at the bottom there. So that's essentially what I'm going to do. So the name of it is Windows 11. If you've got multiple Windows uh, 11 uh, or any version of Windows, Linux or whatever, you can change your name here. So you could do Windows 11 um, today's date, for example. So July 22, if you regularly do it or if you, uh, or if you do the snapshots or whatever. But Windows 11 version 64 bit click next this is the memory size so it depends on how much uh, memory you got i got 32 gig you can give uh, whatever you want there you want a minimum of four gigabytes which is by default but this green bar here it basically gives you an indication of what is safe for your system this orange bar here it will kind of struggle and the red bar there is like a big no-no so that's basically maxing your system out. So if you want to like just push it all the way up to the end of the green bar, which a lot of people do. So in this case, 24 gig more or less on, my, on this VM, which should fly. So you just hit next. And then we want a virtual hard disk uh, for uh, this system. Click that. And we're just going to keep it on VDI. Nice and simple dynamic allocated uh, memory. So you can either do fixed size uh, physical memory or dynamic allocated and this vm uh will sorry i was about to say vmware virtual bots will decide for you um what you have to do so you click next what it needs i meant to say um in here then so the space where it's going to decide for you eight gigabytes is the standard i'm just going to leave it on there you just hit create and there we go it is now essentially created a Windows 11 virtual machine for you. So once we got VirtualBox open, we're just going to the settings and then under system, keep everything here as um, standard, under system, just got to disable enable EF5. For some reason when I had that enabled, uh, it wasn't working. Uh, processor, two tabs, motherboard, the memory's all the way up. You can enable networking if you want uh, for updates, so we can just enable that. Click OK, um, go back to settings. Now under storage, um, I've already enabled this because this is a couple of times I've uh, looked at this, but to uh, set that, you just click drop down and then you can choose the disk file and go to that location. So that's where that is. Click OK, now we should be ready to boot up. Click start and hopefully now this works. So there we are, Oracle VM, boot from any key. And there we are, we are now booting up. Just wait for this uh, Windows to boot up. It's just a standard thing. And there we are, English United Kingdom. Now, before we go anything, on this screen, there's a couple of things that we gotta do. So whilst we're in this screen, we need to press Shift and F10. Now that'll bring up command uh, prompt, as you can see here. We need to now type in reg edit, so R E G E D I T. And now under there, we need to go to this following location. So it is H key local machine. Just open that up. Next, you want to go to system by here. So open that up again. And finally, down here at setup, we need to right click this setup and type go to new key this key needs to be named exactly this lab with a capital l so lab config with a capital c so it's lab config all one word there you go now on the right we need to right click new 32 bit d word and then there again typed exactly like this bypass with a capital b so that's bypass secure so capital S again, secure, uh, boot, capital B, check, capital C. Bypass, boot, check. 
Now we just need to change that value uh, to number one. I hope my um, numpad was working and hexadecimal. So there we are. So now that is value number one, as you can see at the end there. We also need to do another one whilst we're here. D word 32 bit, and that is bypass TPM check. So bypass, capital B again, TPM, all capitals, check, capital C. So bypass TPM check. Again, we need to change that to value one of hexadecimal. There we are, that is done. Now all we need to do is close this down and this, this is because Windows 11 requires secure boot and TPM. This just bypasses it, standard on all Windows. Just click next, install now, and uh, we'll go into install. Maybe I should have kept networking off because I just realized this is probably going to try and connect to the network. But because this is a VPN, I'm just going to say I don't have a product key. Windows Pro. Um, we've all read the license 100 million times, so let's just accept it and go next. Now this bit, <laughs> I was doing upgrade for some weird reason, but we want to click the bottom one. And there we go. We now have uh, our drives here. So let's just um, delete them. Both. And then there we go. So now we just click on that one drive. And we go next. There we go. We are now installing. I'll be back once it's fully installed. There we are. Now we are just restarting the computer after that lot. We can hit restart now or just set the countdown. Go. So let's hit restart now. There we go. Now we are starting the uh, startup process. So, yes, is United Kingdom. I'll just get all this lot signed in. I'm sure you've already seen it a few times. I'm going to skip all the start. Here we are, so we can name our device. I'm just going to hit skip for now. Set up for personal use. We do not want to sign in with that. Here we are, offline account. So we can uh, now do a offline account, but it looks so we're going to skip that and type in our name. So Walsh Tony VM. Next password because of the VM, I'm not bothered. So we just hit next on that and and there we go. We are now in the Windows 11 on a VM. So there we are, we are now in on Windows 11. As you can see here, um, there's a couple of like uh, settings and all you can go through. But for now, this video is all about how to install Windows 11 on uh, VirtualBox. And we've uh, I've also shown you how to install VirtualBox as well onto your, in my case, Windows 11 machine, but it will work on most machines uh, for you. If this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments of any other videos that you'd like to see. Thank you once again to all my Patreon subscribers. Their names will now be on the top right hand side of the screen. If you'd like to follow them, the link is in the description down below. You yourself can be a Patreon or if you want to buy me a one-off beer, my PayPal details are down below. But it is not necessary. Just for watching this video and um, giving it a thumbs up is all I require. Thank you all for watching and ciao for now everyone.